A 46-year-old man in Canada has been charged with defamatory libel because he took some of the photos that his girlfriend had sent him, which were nude photos or sexually explicit photos, and after they broke up, he started sending them to her friends, family, and employers. Okay, mm -hmm. so the reason why I bring this story up is because it's fascinating. You know, we, you hear about this a lot in the United States. You know, a couple will break up, and all of a sudden, the boyfriend will start, you know, uploading the homemade porn film to like uh -huh. youporn.com and it's just kind of become like an accepted thing yeah. right and a lot of times it's like well the woman shouldn't have taken the naked picture to begin with which I agree I, I, yeah. I will never take a naked picture for that reason alone like that's just my biggest fear right it's gonna end up on the internet mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting because this has never happened before I mean I'm sure it's happened that's an unfair statement. I'm sure it might have happened in other isolated cases, but for mm -hmm. the most part, people just kind of pretend like it's not a big deal. In this case, he could save us. He could serve two years in prison. Yeah, it's because of the differences between the laws in Canada and the laws here in regards yes. to defamation and libel and all that. Um, so it is interesting that that their laws even allow for for that sort of thing. Um, I, I'm not from Canada. I know we have quite a few Canadian viewers. Maybe they can fill us in more if this does actually happen more often than we think. But well, I'm going to potentially put myself in trouble, and, and I want to have a discussion with you about the, the fact that he could potentially go to jail for two years, which yeah. I think is very interesting. Let's get to that in a second, because okay. you did touch on something that's important. You know, of course, Canadian laws differ from U.S. laws, so their defini definition of uh, defamatory libel it could be very different from ours. Mm -hmm. So I want to read you what their definition of defamatory libel is, and then you can understand why they have decided uh, that he might serve some time in prison for this. Uh, it's matter published without lawful justification or excuse that is likely to injure the reputation of any person by exposing them to hatred, contempt, or ridicule, or that is designed to insult the person of or concerning whom it is published. So I feel as though this uh, particular crime, you know, fits that definition. Fit. Exactly. Yeah. So go ahead. Your question is, do I think he should serve two years in prison yeah, for this? Uh, maybe. Uh, look, I'm going to probably put myself in trouble because as we, we've talked about nude photos both on this program and on TYT University, and I... I understand that as a man, I'm going to see it a little bit differently. Like, I, if naked photos of myself were out there, I wouldn't be absolutely devastated. I'd probably be a little bit embarrassed unless, like, the lighting was good and the angle was good or something like that. But it wouldn't be the end of my life. Mm -hmm. So, but I understand it's, it's different for women. It's particularly different for women in the media. Like, right. Th but there are lots of actresses that have nude photos of them out there, and they... They seem to be doing okay. Right. Alison Pill tweeted the photo. Her career isn't over. And that's so, a very different type of career. It's, I it's, understand. Yeah. And they chose to do they chose chose to do that, whereas in this case she did not. And so I totally understand that. But one of the things actually that used to bother me a little bit when I was just a viewer of the Young Turks, actually, and I was a viewer for a number of years, is you guys would talk about a crime and then you'd say, okay, so how many years should he get? And sometimes the sentences you guys would pass would be fucking bananas. Like uh -huh. Five years for doing something. Yeah, like, do you five understand? years. Yeah. Do you know what two years in prison is like? She's going to be okay. No, thankfully <laughs> I don't. But I imagine it's devastating. I don't in know. In terms of your career, in terms of your anus, it's going to be devastating. Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay. two years in prison, she's not physically harmed. She'll be okay. Look, the guy is, I hate the guy. The fact that he sent it to not only her friends, but her family as well. And employers, employers. Employers, yeah, I totally understand. And if you're friends with that guy, you need to rethink that friendship. I just thought about this. years? Okay, I, I, I feel uncomfortable commenting on how much t prison time he should serve. Two years does sound excess, very excessive. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know what the right answer is. And you're right about the conversations we used to have on the show. Um, about like, oh, how many years should he We don't know. Yeah. Like, we're not experts in that field, and I don't know what kind of punishment will fit this crime. I do know that there should be a punishment. Yes. Maybe it makes more sense for him to pay some sort of, you know, pay some sort of fine. Yeah. Um, I'd be much more comfortable with that as opposed to throwing people in prison for doing this. But I, I do like sending a message to people that says, look, you can't do this just because yeah. you broke up with your girlfriend and you dislike her now. Yeah. Because it does damage someone's reputation. So you brought up the question of you know, an actor or actress who does the naked pictures. Well, that's completely different because A, they do make that decision and also, big deal, a nude actor or actor. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. Yeah, she made the, helps their career. That helped her <laughs> career, right? But in the case of a school teacher, for instance, I don't know what this particular woman does for yeah. uh, her career. In fact, they didn't even identify her. Um, but if you're a, a, a news anchor, having those naked pictures of yourself online is going to ruin your credibility. 
It's going, yes, people are going to judge you, and it's unfortunate because we freak out about sex and we freak out about nudity, and yeah. I wish it wasn't that way. But it has real consequences for women who want to be professionals. So that's the reason why this is a big problem. And also, guys should be concerned about it too, because I will never send anyone a naked picture of myself, right? And it's because of douchebags like this. This bastard. So all you guys out there should be upset at this guy because it's definitely deterring women from sending you nude photos.